Alright, so, um, I don't think I need this, but, like, um, hey guys, it's one here, and, um, oh, hey guys, it's Mrs. Burp here, and sorry if I'm, like, Quentin is actually behind the Mrs. Burp, but he has his face covered up, and that kind of makes sense for him, too, so that kind of makes sense for him, too. Maybe I have to pull my face a little bit, you can see my face right here, Mrs. Burp, and, um, like, um, I actually said I need the script for my videos. I want to say something before I want to say something. But, um, <laughs> sorry, I'm having a little hoops today. I can't really think of it. But, like, um, I'm going to scream, like, so loud. I'm not going to lie. But I'm going to teach, like, more science than maybe math. Maybe I'll have, like, inductive reasoning. Or maybe I'll have a adjust video for a reason. Um, the season, the part three is already here. So, like, um, yeah, the 21st is coming on, um, the 10 is coming on January 21st. Just like I said. January 8th is part 3, and part 4 is coming on January 15th, so, yeah, um, um, like, yeah, I'll teach, like, um, I'm going to teach Biosphere and, like, next, and it's going to be, like, 40 minutes straight, and that can be the same thing as, like, I'm kind of sick right now, guys, I'm not really sure why, but maybe if I can think something positive for once, I can say something, but maybe, um, I guess I can try figuring out that, like, a what to know for my possibility to reach my goal for, like, my assistant. Make more tenants than the people coming over. That can be the same thing as well. Or maybe that can be, like, the big thing is I can try to identify by, by the warning girl, for example. Try wearing for your own possession. Or posit positive. Be positive for once. Don't be negative. It's not nice. It's not very nice to people as well. But you gotta be nice to people. You gotta give respect. Or people can love you as, as you give respect as well, basically. But it's basically more right if you, like, um, give a little respect, then you should give respect. Because that's the same way as I can be, uh, like, and don't be rude, like, I'm gonna kill you so hard, you make me want to scream my darn head off. Yeah, just like that. Don't be rude, just be positive. Oh, I just love people around. Yeah, that's positive. And this thing seems to be negative, like, all around, when he says something negative. That's how his reaction's gonna be going, like this. Well, you, you better stop right now, I am serious. He says, Can I have my reach my goal for dreamland? I don't have one! I don't have one! Yeah, just like that. I'm not raising my voice so high because Nissan can hear me like I'm doing right now, which is not a very positive thing to do, and I'm doing a little positive thing. This is my, my relaxing voice and smiling like this. You can't always see my face, but that's my, my face cover with a with a gray thing to cover my face. That's all I want to say, like positive. I'm being positive, guys. But yeah. Um, um yeah, I'm just being positive around here. I don't want to mess around, that's against the rules. And you don't want to be like, um, people feel like that's, um, nothing against having it. Like, using a bit, um, unnecessary to think of, necessary to think what they're up to, and maybe they can think what they're up to, like, um, how come they're controlling life can be, um, harder for themselves, and, um, controlling by thinking positively for flexibly. Maybe they can think flexibly for another reason. Maybe they can think reason, reasonality, or positive. Think something positive to think about what they're up to. And maybe they can think about, like, what they can do to reach a goal, to be happy again, or to be sad, get a zero for that. And you get mad, you get a zero for that as well. But if you're, if you're normal, you get, like, 50%, if you're happy, you get 100%. That's how it is to reach my goal. If you're going to be disrespectful, you get an F. You get an F. Repeat, get an F. If you're badly behaved, mentally challenged, no F is, like, autism or any other product, you can still go to the I'm not taking it. Yeah. Okay, so, um, let's get started with my... Biosphere project that we're gonna talk about, and yeah, and I'll see what I can do for this one. I guess that's gonna be the thing. What I can try to identify the problem, the the the, uh, the obvious direction to moving direction towards my face. That can be the thing. That's 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 a big one from my standpoint. Yeah, like um, when Nessie says like, "Hey, careful! Watch it! Watch yourself! Watch where you're going! You need to watch where you're going!" Yeah, Nessie's so good to lion. He needs to be stopped real to lion. That is not very cool. Yeah, he's like, "I'm gonna step on that." Yeah, do you know what I play Niston? Niston is like a dangerous person. He's so rude to Quentin like this. Quentin, I am gonna hurt you more than I do. Yeah, just like that. Niston is so rude to Quentin. He's not like him at all. Yeah, just like, don't be rude people. That's all they matters. Yeah. Okay, so, now we're moving on to Biosphere. Okay. Alright. Alright, Biosphere. I need to move my head around so I can, uh, focus my direction. Alright. See me a little better. By the most general biophysiological -physical definition, the biosphere is a global ecological system in integrating 
all living belongs in their relationships, including all and including their all interaction with elements in lithosphere, geosphere, in hydrosphere, and atmosphere. Biosphere. The biosphere, also known as the ecosphere, is the world alive in all ecosystems. It can be also termed the zone of living on planet Earth. A closed system and largely self-regulating. The, the, this is the biosphere right here. It's, it's actually the Earth. See right here? The Earth. See, you can see the biosphere like right now, the biosphere. That's what you can see, the, the thing right here. All right, I'm gonna ask some questions about this. Uh, people only ask questions about like, what is biosphere and its types? Generally defined, the portion of the universe is where all life is found called the biosphere. The biosphere is made of three parts called the lithosphere, atmosphere, and hydrosphere. All right, so what is a biosphere made of? It's made of Earth, like the Earth matters, life matters. The biosphere, with the products of life. That means that Earth's biosphere is composed of all the living organisms and plants. This includes all the plants, animals, bacteria, and fungi, and single-celled organisms found on the Earth. And why is, and what is an example of biosphere? Noun. The biosphere is defined as the area of the planet where organisms live, including the ground and the air. An example of the biosphere is where, with life, is where life occurs on, above and below the surface of Earth. Yeah, that's a populist right there. And why is the biosphere important? Many people ask. I'm going to show you. It's very different. The biosphere is as important as life itself because of it's all of life. Without the biosphere, the Earth would be a lifeless planet such as Mars or Venus. The growth of the human population of the Earth means there is less room for other species. Yeah, you guys probably heard like the most general biophysiological definition, the global ecological, living belongings and relationships between the lithosphere, geosphere, hydrosphere, and atmosphere. And people might be hearing of the like the big population of the, pro the progress of this um, geosphere and biology. Bio, she's talking about bio, biosphere, and that can take like biosphere to practice. And they can turn up biosphere to to know about what happens to their own religion, and they can turn their religion to their to ma matter, the cells of matter. <laughs> in centimeters, can be also in dog or organisms of like cells of litter. You have this heart beating, like I said, the heart beating. Whenever the heart beating, when you when your heart stops, you die. Like I said, and like I said in the first one, the first the first part, like I said, and. And possibly the, the biosphere, the global ecological system, can be involved by letting alive, letting the earth, like, um, the earth moving the direction and the units, like, using po possibly, using possibly changing units, the, the, po the possibility, the, the journalism, like, um, if you go for a journey, you might have a mechanical system for biosphere, the earth, you might visit the earth, but, like, we're in the earth, we visit the earth, we're in the earth, like, right now, and I belong to the earth, Mrs. Burke here. In Eastern, in Clinton, in Lyon. Lyon's not here at the moment, but I'll show Lyon in the other time about that. <sighs> okay, so, um, yeah, okay, um, right. Yeah, the biosphere is made of Earth, and that can be the system of cells, and that can be involved by the system, and that can change too. Or, that can change by population, or places of history, maybe, um, the civilization, civilization can be founded in geography, and that can be the same thing as well about that. Well, we're not that bad. That could be more than I thought. How about this? Yeah. Alright, now we're moving on to civilization. Now we're moving on to civilization. Civilization. Repeat. Civilization. Okay, civilization. Civilization. The founded of the earth. Same as geography. I don't know why I'm teaching geography again. But, civilization. The stage of human social and cultural development. An organization that is considered most advanced. They equated the railroad with progress in civilization. Similar human development, advancement, progress, Enlightenment, enlightenment, the progress by the process, the process by which a society or place reaches an advanced stand, advance, reaches an advanced stage of social and cultural development and organization. The society, culture, and a way of life in a particular area, similar to culture, customs, more realized attainments. A civilization, 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 a civilization or civilization is any complex society characterized by human development, social stratification, stratification, imposed by a cultural life, symbolized systems of communication and perceived separation, foreign domi dom for domination over the natural environment. People also search for culture, and irrigation, agriculture, and history. We already did history. That's the word transfer translations, word wording, and more definition. Civilization or civilization comes from Latin words, studies, Meaning someone who lives in a town. 
A civilization is generally an advanced stage of organization. That means that it has a lawless culture and regular way of getting food and protecting the people. What is civilization in simple words? Like I told you before, I told you, after I told you the reading part. What are seven characteristics in a civilization? Civilization. These are seven characteristics that define a civilization. Stable food supply, social structure, system of the government, religious system, highly development, developed culture, advanced in technology, written language. What makes a civilization a civilization? A civil civilization is a complex culture which large numbers of human beings share a number of common elements. Historians have identified, identified the basic characteristics of civilization, the six of the most important characteristics are cities, government, religion, social structure, writing, and art. What is the definition of civilization in history? A civilization is generally defined as an advanced state, advanced state of human society containing highly developed over of government, cultures, industry, industry, and common social norms. All right, is that it? All right. Why is a civilization important? If you mean having a shared and long-term sense of clothes and language, beliefs, and cultural artifacts, such as art, literature, music, and religion, over a large population, a civilization is important because it defines the parameters of a shared way of life in, a, in areas it stands as the channel for. Quora, if you know what Quora is, go look it up. What is the sentence of civilization? Civilization sentence example. He went to the study of civilization of the Arab world, the great story of Castro. That is story in ancient, Asian peaceful civilization has been handed down from father to son. And that's why the civilization is important to know about the future for society for major people. Is about being positive and sharing opinions to people what they deserve through their own possession. That can be the same thing to know about for another possession, to pour possibility to your religion, to make your religion better, to know what positive to think flexibly and make relationships to classmates for your own friends. They can be friends too if they're classmates. They just met you for like, um, you've been friends with them for so long, you met them for like so long, and that's the experience that you had. Or maybe you met them for a long time, and that can be the same thing as well. And, um, yeah, that's, that's all about civilization, and now we're moving on to something else that can be try not to um, do something with the laptop because I'm holding it like this, and that can be the possibility of, you know, what that happens to the humane society of the sex. That can be the membranes of society, whether they have religions of people, and they have opinions to know what they have in their own religion. That can be the same as well. The same thing as well. Or matters. That could be a lot. Alright, so, now we're moving on to, oops, sorry, I need to move back because I don't want to keep thing out and that kind of annoys you and, and I don't like that. Alright, so I need to see myself here to know what that means. I need to look what these actually mean for humane society. Oops. Need, I need a little help here. Alright, I need to go to the bathroom too. I'm kind of holding it just a little bit, but I'm kind of like using the bathroom at the same time, but like, oh my god, I'm missing, I'm missing bathroom. Oh my god, I'm such nervous. If I make a mess in my own, my own clothes, I have to change it. I have to do that. No way. Religion, the belief, and the worship, and it's superhuman controlling power. This is what I'm doing, controlling power, when I'm taking a bathroom. And I accidentally made a mess. Especially a personal daughter dogs. Ideas about the relationship between science and religion. Similar faith, belief, divinity, worship, creed, teaching, and doctrine. A particular system of faith and worship. Poor known religions, the world's great, the world's great religions, and pursuit or interest with someone ascribed supreme importance. Consumerism is the new religion. Religion, religion is a social cultural system of designated behaviors and practices, and morals, worldviews, texts, sanctified, sanctified places, prophecies, ethics, or organizations that related that relates humanity to supernatural. Transcend, transcendental, transcendental, or sp spiritual elements. And my handy dandy here to look at my own, to look this. What is the purpose of religion? The purpose of religion, the purpose of a practice of a religion, are to achieve the goals of salvation for oneself and others. If there's, if there's a God, to render due worship and obedience to God. Different religions have different understandings of salvation and God. What is a what is the best definition of religion? A set of beliefs concerning the cause of nature and purpose of the universe, especially when it's considered as a creation of a superhuman agency and agencies, usually involving devotional and ritual observances, and often containing a moral code governing the conduct of the human affairs. There is the religious wars that people search for a lot of things like United States or country, 
some cities they can look for that can be the same thing as well. But it's the same thing as well. What is the real definition of religion? Oxford Dictionary defines religion as a belief in a word shape as a human human, but truly color, especially a personal God for God. Right. What is the bi biblical definition of religion? One, the belief, the belief in and worship the gods or gods. Two, a system of religious beliefs and practices. The definition of religion by Marianne Webster. Yeah, the definition of religion is a contra controversial subject in religious studies with schoolers in version in the schoolers version. And that's what a religion looks like, and that's what a religion looks like here, and they add a lot of United States history on this. If you guys, think, if you guys go to geography class in history, in United States history, you might learn about religion as well, to talk about the religion in the society of human beings, to know about obedience and property, the property of obedience, or they can talk about like this, what they can talk about, the property of what they think about, what they have, and their own property to know about their um, support and obedience at the same time, and... I think uh, um I think that the religion the religion observe can be the same thing as like um like having a big having a big property of your own possession or a direction and um see my head right here yeah that's what my direction is going right now moving like this yeah like I showed you in the part two go watch that and and yeah that was what religion looks like if you ever had to go to if you have any questions about the religion let me know comment down below let me know what religion looks like and I'll answer the comments and Mrs Burns is commenting. Uh, Mrs. Burns, I'll be commenting, saying, um, if you got, whatever you guys have questions about the religion, so I'll teach you that, like, right now. Yeah. Okay, now we're talking about obedience. Which is, what we talked about is obedience. And I'm having a, like, obedience is, like, a human, human behavior that can control the, the test subject by, um, showing some proof of your behavior to know about your, to know about what you do for your directions, to talk about what you do. And that can be, like, the obedience to show, um, respect and positive. That can be, but also the same thing as well. And now let's get on to it. Obedient. Obedient the objective. Complying or willing to comply with orders and requests. Submissive to another will. Sub to another's will. Compliant, acquiescent, 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 tractable, amenable, useful, and good. Alright. Dictionary definition of it. What changed? What changed the obedience into their own behavior? Obedience in human behavior. The human behavior of obedience is a form of the societal, social, the human of a society, this is the social influence in which a person yells to explicit, explicit instructions, orders for a forty figure, to forty figures, which is me, I'm a forty figure. The obedience is generally dis, dis, distinguished, 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 for compliance, which is behavior influenced by peers and for conforming, with, in which behavior intended to match that the majority, for majority. Let's go down to ask some questions. What is an obedient child? Telling someone that their child is obedient is usually meant as a compliment. The play is the other way around kids who are subject to peer and pressure as well as the kids who are parents taught them how they to do what they are told. That was reported on January 19, 2012. Yeah, like, yeah, let's do the, what is obedience by example? Now, obedience is a willingness to obey. An example of the obedience is a dog listening to his owner. What is meaning by obedience? Obedient, if you always do what you're told, you can be described as obedient. A forty figures love to have obedient followers. When you realize that the word obedient comes from a Latin word meaning to obey, it's easy to remember what obedient means. Let's go down here. What does obedient mean to, in the Bible? In simple terms, obedience is a compliance with the order of quest. Law or submission to another's authority is being found as appearing as a man who humbled himself. By becoming obedient to death, even death on a cross. Hence, why the devil, why the devil stresses is an essential part of the Christian faith. That was coming out on January 29, 2017. And that's what the obedient looks like. Not obedient means that you're behaving badly. And uh, means obedient and you're being nice to authority figures. The authority figures love obedient people. Which is unobedient and Quentin's obedient. What are others? This is not obedient. He's very bad. He is very, very bad. He screams like this. I'm crazy, but I can be pretty serious about Miss Ben's behavior really concerns me. Miss Ben's behavior really concerns me. That's all I'm saying. And if you guys have any questions, my arms is killing me right now. I'm not kidding at all. Yeah, I'm going to sit in my chrome here and maybe I'll ask more questions about what I can do to be possessive of futures contemplated. Alright, so now we're getting on to geometry and doctor. Now we're moving on to math. Yeah, I'm finally getting on to math. I'm tired of talking about science, English, and social studies. But I'm going to talk to science later if I want to. 
We got a car about motor out space if I want to. Maybe I'll try it out to do. Alright, now we're moving on. Inductive reasoning. Geometry inductive app. Geometry inductive. Inductive reasoning, a form of reasoning in which a conclusion is reached based on a pattern present in numerous observation, observations. Prostate, postulate, po postulate. A statement about the geometry that is accepted a true, without proof. Theorem, a statement in geometry that can prove. Mathematical function and induction. Mathematical induction is math mathematical. Proof, technique is essentially used to know about the reasoning between inductives. And um, if you look at Khan Academy, um, if you go to Khan Academy, Khan Academy means that, like, if you don't know what Khan Academy is, Khan Academy can teach you about, like, science, English, social studies, and math. Math, it doesn't, it complain, it comes like all math is. It complains all, it complains all math. All math together belonging. Yeah, if you go to math, which is inductive reasoning, or you want to say deductive, deductive. What is the difference between inductive and deductive? Deductive. Just look it up. Yeah, it's here somewhere. And I'm going to scroll it again. And what does inductive mean in geometry? Inductive, inductive reasoning is a progress, the process of arriving in conclusion based on a set of observations. In itself, it is not valid, method of proof, just because a person observed a number or situations. In which a pattern exists doesn't mean that a pattern is true of all the solutions. You have to be a sophomore or a junior to be in geometry. If you're, um, um, most people take geometry in 10th grade, which is a sophomore. Or you can wait until, like, junior year to go to geometry and inductive. Quentin's in geometry and doctor, and he has Mrs. Pence. If you don't know who she is, she's a great teacher. Yeah, I hate to say Quentin's... Quentin, I hate to bother you. I hate, I hate to say your teacher's name. Yeah, which is your new teacher. Inductive validity means that you win the wrong reasons inductively. Such reasoning will contain that for it takes you... Contains three elements. As it pronounced, the, the first starting point. Supporting evidence. What makes you believe the promise is true. And three, conclusion that is true and valuable. Valid as far as you know. If you use, like, spark notes, you might use inductive as, like, a result. What is an inductive reasoning? Inductive reasoning is a well logical process in which multiple premises, all believed, true, or found true most of the time are combined to obtain a specific conclusion. Inductive reasoning is the often used in applications that involve eradication, forecasting, or behavior. What is the difference between inductive and deductive? And we're finally getting into that. That's because inductive reasoning starts with a conclusion, and deductive reasoning starts with a premise. Therefore, inductive reasoning moves from specific instances in a generalized conclusion, while deductive reasoning moves from generalized principles that are known to be true to your true or specific conclusions. What is inductive and deductive reasoning in geometry? Deductive reasoning, unlike inductive reasoning, is a valid form of proof. It is in fact the way in geometric geometric proofs are what in deductive reasoning is a process by which is a person makes conclusions based on a previously known facts. Now we're getting on to, what is an example of inductive reasoning in geometry? A conclusion that is weak in inductive reasoning may not, or may not be valid. An example of inductive reasoning is, for example, when you notice that it's like all mice, you should see around, you know, are brown, so you make the conclusion that all mice in the world are brown. Alright. What is an inductive research design? Inductive approach, also known as inductive reasoning, starts with observations, observations, and theories are composed towards the end of a research process, as a result of observations, patterns, and resemblances, or regularities, and experience, premises, are observed, and observe arrange conclusions, or generate, generate theory. And how do you do inductive research? This will show you the inductive research, or deductive research. If you're in a deductive class, you might take, might watch the deductive one. If you're inductive, like Quentin is, you might watch this one. Inductive. Research became of the research question of the collection of empirical data which are used and generate hypotheses and theory. Deductive research approaches confirmation usually begins with a theory driven hypothesis which guide data collection and analysis. In inductive and deductive research approaches YouTube. If you go to YouTube, here's a proof right here. And there are types of inductive arguments. I'm going to ask that one more time. In the category of inductive arguments, there are six that will look at casual. Inference, prediction, and generalization, argument for authority, argument for science, and analogy. A, ca a causal inference is the one where the conclusion following follow through one promises based upon inferring the cause and effect relationship. That's what the type of deductive and inductive arguments tutorial that means by like using a big um, definition, using a deductive or inductive. Now we're going to have to deductive to know about what is happening to 
old election where it's going to go up. That can be the same thing, right? Alright. Now we're getting into deductive geometry. Is the de geometry deductive definition. And I better sit down right now. Because I'm getting a little flagellated, if you know what I mean. Because I'm tired of standing and it hurts my definition between his arms. And I'm going to show you my definition of myself. And, and right now, that can be... Um, yeah, I'm going to show you what that means. Alright, so... Deductive geometry is the art of deriving, der deriving new geometric facts that inform previously known facts by using logical reasoning in elementary school. All right, no there. Many geometric facts are introduced by folding, cutting, cutting or measuring experience exercises, not by logical de deduction. In geometry, a written logical argument is called a proof. Ge deductive geometry is kind of different between inductive. So I'm going to look it up. What is deductive structure? Alright, deductive structure, a system of thought in which conclusions are justified by means of previously assumed or probed statements. What is a deductive reasoning in geometry? Summary deductive reasoning, deductive reasoning, unlike inductive reasoning, is a valid form of proof. It is, in fact, the way in which geometry, like I said, like back in the inductive one, proofs are written, deductive reasoning. It's a process, process, by which a person makes conclusions based on a previously known facts. Alright, what does in inductive and deductive mean in that? Because a conclusion is based on facts, the conclusions reached by deductive reasoning are correct and valid. Simply put, in deductive reasoning is uniform in hypothesis, while deductive reasoning is used more extensively in geometry to prove ideas. Alright, move to the next one. What do you mean by deductive reasoning? We are talking about deductive, what is one I like to hear today. Inductive reasoning is a logical, logical process in which multiple premises, premises are believed true and or found true most of the time, are combined are coordinated to obtain a specific conclusion. Inductive reasoning is often used in applications that involve predication, pre pre prediction, forecasting, or behavior. Wait, um, alright, alright, what is the inverse of statement? The inverse of conditional negating both a hypothesis and conclusion of a conditional statement, for example, in the verse of it. If it is a rain, then the grass is wet. Just like just like I told you the the carbon dioxide in the biology, the part I said about part two and part one. Go check it out if you haven't seen part one and part two. Yeah, I think we talked about this in the part two. If it's rain, then the grass is wet. And if it's not rain, the grass is not wet. So that's um dry. If it if, it, if the grass is wet, then it, it's wet. It's nothing but water. Water and wet. As an example, a proposition may be true, but the inverse may be false. See also. What are the examples of deductive reasoning? You can also know that apples are fruits, and Granny Smith is an apple. That's funny, okay. Fruit for the Granny Smith have to be a fruit. This is an example of syllogism, a form of deductive reasoning. Deductive reasoning is a type of logic where general statements or premises are used to form a specific conclusion. Alright, last one. What does deductive reasoning mean? What is the target? If you look at um, Khan Academy, there is deductive reasoning as well. Like I told you, the inductive reasoning. Deductive reasoning is a logical process in which the conclusion is based on the core concordance of the multiple premises are, that are generally assumed to be true. Deductive reasoning is sometimes referred to the top-down logic. Its counterpart, deductive reasoning, is sometimes referred to as a bottom-up logic. Alright, how are inductive and deductive arguments similar? A deductive argument is an argument which is provided, provided, is provided and guaranteed for the truth of the conclusion. In an inductive argument, the premises are in intended only to, only to be so strong that if they are true, then it is unlikely that the conclusion is false. In deductive and inductive arguments, are sometimes in the YouTube video to watch the to watch the, the Khan Academy assignment to the deductive reasoning and inductive, the inductive and geometry, and the deductive and geometry reasoning. That can be um, the lesson of the Academy, the Study.com, or you can use Khan Academy to know the definition of like, for example, to know what these mean. Because I'm about to show you this, and wait, somebody coming. No, it's just somebody. I don't have any means today whatsoever. And you can see the, the video is for Khan Academy. And, alright. And I think that's about it for geometry ge and inductive. You might take inductive. I'm not sure um what you take for um for junior. Most people take geometry again. I don't know what. I don't know what quantum goes for geometry. I don't know what quantum goes for math in junior year. But I'll figure it out what is going to happen. Or they might take like calculus. Or I'm not sure what is going to happen to the future of the math in junior year. Or I'm not sure what's going to happen. Or I'm not really sure what's going to happen to. And I think that's about it. And now we're moving on to something else. Alright, so now we're moving on to, um, now we're talking what people are trying to figure out specific. And, um, can't wait to see a video, but, like, 
and that's why I'm showing my face because like I got these things right here. Specific, specific, curly identified or identified, curly divine or identified, increasing the electricity, supplying only until the meet the next specific development needs. Particular, specific, certain, fixed, set, determined. Biology related to or connected with species or other species. Dated a medicine or remedy effective in treating a particular disease of part of the body. A precise detail, detail, a precise detail. He worked for the specifics on a contract. And now we're getting into um, what does specific mean for kids? All right, if you look up for a specific definition of specific, Miriam Webster, which is Miriam, Miriam Webster dot com, which is dictionary of specific. Go check it out. All right, kids definition specific relating to our being example of a certain kind of thing that a specific case. Second, relating to our particular individual or situation that are problem specific to this project. And it means for kids that it's definition to the problem specific to this project. If, you, if the teacher says, um, be specific, you must be, be specific, like use different words. Yeah, that can be like a different thing. What age is a kid? Largely the term, child may never, may refer to anyone, the label age of majority or some others, or some other age limit. The United Nations Convention of the Right of a Child defines child as a human being below the age of 18 years, unless you have to be specific at age like 10 years old, you cannot just say, you cannot, you cannot just say play. Be, be specific. You cannot just say play. You cannot just say, um, no, you cannot just say, um, play. You cannot just say play. Be specific, obviously. The 18 years unless though, unless all a principal, the child may already have attained earlier. What age is a tween? Ages 8 to 12. Ah, the tween years? This age group, which usually is described about 8 to 12, is better known as the tween years, or shyness to independence. The baby fast puberty. This can be wildly exciting and tumultuous, tumultuous time as well as you in between. Girls 8 to 12, and I can't see my face, like, what is a sign of specific? Concrete, distinct, especially, special, especial, express, express, facilier, precise, set, special, words related to specific, alone, only, separate, single, sol solitary, distinctive, exclusive, individual, unique. That is more specific words can say. You can use like specific words, specific words. Yeah, that is more specific words you should say. Don't just say play. Use specific words like um like um like so precise, special, express, concrete, unique, and individual. That can be so individual too. Yeah. Is nine year old a tween? A tween is a child between ages of nine and twelve. A tween is no longer a little child, but not quite a teenager. They are in between the two age groups, and their behavior emotions are such that homework is a load alone. Can be a big change for tweens and parents to be really help if tweens needed help. What age is a teen? A teenager or a teen is a person who falls within the ages of 13 and 19 years old. The word teenager is another word, adolescent. When the teenager turns 20, they are no longer a teenager. They are no longer in that developmental developmental stage. 13 years old is um, and you're a teen. You must be 13 years old to be a teen. What is a three-year-old toddler? Toddler at one and three years old. Some still consider young toddlers to be babies. Preschoolers, three to five years. Grade schooler, five and 12 years. Sometimes called school age in other sources. Our 10-year-old's tweens. Ten tweens, ages 10 to 12 years. Today's precious preteen. Often shot. Parents when they act like teenagers. Don't be fooled or still children. They'll astonish you with their ability to conceptualize, to argue br br brilliantly, and then to do foolish things. And that's a big, um, what is the word, what is the synonym of indication? Alluring, appealing, attractive, bewitching, captivating, captivating, captivating charis charis charismatic, charming, elfin, enchanting, entrancing, fascinating, fetching, glamorous, also glamorous, wearing, magnetic, and seductive. That is a specific word you can say. Are nine-year-olds allowed to stay home alone? Children between the ages of nine and years and twelve years, being a little maturity, maturity, may be left alone for a brief, less than two hours, periods of time, and children thirteen years old or older, who are at a decayed level of maturity, may be left alone and may perform a role of babysitter is authorized authorized by parents up to when they're um when they're not doing anything wrong. And I'm teaching about like child development. What do fifteen year olds do for fun? There are ten fun things to do with your teens. Yeah, 15, 10, they have a lot of energy to get out, so go out there and get active with them. 
Snowy Marathon, Hike, Camp, and Rock Climb, Go Foot and Zoom in Park, Community Service, Community Service and Take a Road Trip, Photo Hunt, Play Games. Quentin is 16 years old, so he doesn't have to do that stuff, but he does go for a church in the, in the Benden to go for to go for outride. What means specific? Specifically, if you describe saying something as a specific, you're signaling that you're being precise. Say, say you're asking your friend to meet you at a specific time and place. It means you want to meet her at, say, Ray's Pizza at 3 p.m. Not just anywhere. Specific also means detailed and exact. What is a specific example? Definition of example. An example is something particular, situational, object, or a person that shows that being claimed is true. In Collins English Dictionary, and I'll do four more, four more um, questions about this. Is 19 still a kid? In many, in many cases, yes, a 19 year old is more a kid than an adult. Adult, a real adult means if you're 22. The difference between a kid and grown up is self sufficiently, 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 and responsibility. Some 19 year olds are adults, but in today's Western society, most are still kids. Can 8 year olds go through puberty? Sad but true. When 8 year olds have signs of puberty, it's usually normal. Ossasiani, Ossasiani. Early purity can be a sign of a serious illness, especially if it starts being before eight-year-olds age and grow, before nine-year-olds and boys. Okay. What chores should a nine-year-old be able to do? Like, do something like, make simple meals with adult supervision. Kids can be making more meals in the kitchen. Pack own one for school. Pick out own school clothes. Have a complete hygiene routine. Feed and love pets. Dust, vacuum, sleep them up. Clean the bathroom, clean the kitchen. Okay, two more. I promise. What does specific information mean? Specific information refers to exact, precise, fact, or de description, or something mentioned in a text. General information is normally a reference to a broad description or something. For example, school children do not like reading books. Quentin loves reading books. He loved it. He actually loved it. He, I'm not kidding. He loved it. How do you use specific in a sentence? Last one, I promise. Did something specific happen at the last place? It's easy to identify specific crimes and follow them up. We never had luck going after a specific time that long ago. Four, she dropped Jonathan off and told him to meet her at a specific time and place. Yeah, that's what the meaning of specific definition. And it doesn't happen. Alright, so um, that's all for today to know about the specific definition. And I'm going to close it out for today. And um, I'm still, Quentin's still working on the quiz, season 15, to know about the answers. And, and yeah, I'll get with you later. And I'll see you guys soon. Peace. And bye.